Hey boys and girls, welcome back to New Stuff TV, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine, shop till you drop Richardson, because today we are checking out my top picks for Black Friday. Now I know you've been watching a lot of Black Friday videos telling you buy this, buy that. But look man, this is my personal favorites. These are items that I picked up throughout the year that I've used on a day to day or week to week basis that I just wanna share with you. So let's go ahead and get started with this first one. Now I've recently touched on this man. This is my top three earbud picks for the year. Starting with the Soundcore uh, Aerofit, Aerofit, that's what they are, Aerofit Pro. I like these man, these sound good. They're super comfortable and are amazing for phone calls and they yeah they sound good too because they're earbuds first right but everyday wear man you're gonna get a lot of battery life out of them and you're just gonna forget you're wearing them until you start hearing that lovely music or need to take a phone call and then we got these little jewels right here that surprised me early this year the oneplus buds pro 2 now nowhere in my life did i ever think i was gonna fall in love with a set of uh, stem style earbuds i just really never liked them until these showed up they did it perfect with the colorway and the two different textures or or finishes on it they just look good and they look good in your ears but what they do better than look good is sound good these sound freaking phenomenal man these are definitely high on the list as far as audio quality especially when you pair it up with the app you can fine tune these things to get just the right sound out of these things to satisfy all your needs now the anc in these things is actually really really great along with the ambient sound so i suggest you check these out too and you simply can't talk about top earbuds without mentioning the Sony WF-1000XM5. As I said before, these things are jam packed with AI and sound that is Sony all day long. I just love them. The active noise cancellation, the ambient sound, the AI built in that just kind of follows you throughout your day. Just, you just really can't compete with these. So that's why they're in my top. Still hanging out in the mobile audio realm, let's go ahead and knock these out. These are the Sony WH-1000XM5s. I absolutely love these things for many reasons. Let's start with comfort for one. These things are super lightweight, ultra comfortable. The way they just kind of melt onto the side of your head and just, just like two pillows just right here. So all day comfort, boom, that's where it's at. Now phone calls, these are great for phone calls. These are better than a lot of earbuds I've tried for phone calls. So if you're doing Zooms and stuff like that, or you know, the video chatting stuff all day for work, put these on your head, man. It's gonna work out for you. Now let's get to their main purpose, which is music quality. Sony all day. I mean, you can EQ these things within the app. They have the same type of app that you get with the uh, the earbuds, which is actually gonna follow you throughout your day. It's the AI that they built in to just do life with you. I've loved traveling with these. These things because of that because while you're moving they pump in a little bit of ambient sound to let you know about your environment and then when you stop moving they close everything off when you're on an airplane they push everything to the background that that engine drone the babies the people cackling in the back oh my god and if you stay at a hotel or something and there's an ac unit or one time i was in new york i could still hear the people outside i was on like the fourth floor and i could still hear the people outside because new york doesn't sleep I put the headphones on and they're comfortable enough to wear while I'm sleeping, durable enough to wear while I'm sleeping, and they kept everything quiet while I was sleeping. So that's why they are in my Black Friday top picks. Now this right here is gonna be your heads up that not everything in this list is gonna be affordable for everybody. This right here is the Nebula Mars 3. One thing I've really enjoyed this fall is watching movies on the big screen in my backyard with the wife, man. We set up everything back there, we pull down the screen, and we just start watching our movies or shows or whatever we're gonna do. Right now we're watching a show called Banshee on Max. You gotta check that out, man. It's about this career criminal who all of a sudden assumes the identity of a sheriff. You gotta watch it for yourself. But moving back to the Mars 3, it is a 1080p completely mobile and portable projector. Why do I say that? Well, it's because it has an IP rating that's rated for water resistance and it has drop resistance and it has this built-in handle. It has a built-in speaker that sounds really good. And last but not least, it's got up to a five hour battery. Now you gotta take that with a grain of salt because you can get up to five hours if you use it on a like eco mode or something like that. I like my stuff at full brightness and full performance. So I'm only getting about two hours, maybe a little bit less than two hours. So you might wanna hook it up to like, you know, like a battery bank or something like that, or just run an extension cord. But anytime you are going camping or gonna be outdoors, yeah, if you wanna enjoy some content on the big screen, Nebula Mars 3 is where it's at. 
Now, if you tuned in earlier this year, you'll know that I just started gaming again after taking a break for like 23 years. I bought myself a PS5 this year, and that's what I'm recommending for Black Friday, a PS5 combined with Spider-Man 2. Man, I've loved my PS5. I've enjoyed all the games I've played on it. But let me tell you, hands down, Spider-Man 2 is the most action-packed, like it's better than any action movie I've seen. The action, man, and my hands. Dude, my hands, they're so cramped. I, my hands haven't been as cramped as they are, even still, even hours after playing. They still haven't been this cramped since back in the days when I was playing like Mario Brothers or like Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I've loved and enjoyed my time with my PS5, man. So, but it really, I mean, it was great, but the, the Spider-Man 2, you just got to try it out for yourself. That game is freaking epic, man. Great job on that game, Sony. So if you've already got a PS5, just go pick up Spider-Man 2. Hopefully there's a sale on that one. And if you don't have a PS5 and you've been on the fence, bruh, I'm telling you right now, this is your green light to go get one. As someone who kind of just stepped away from the gaming, like the console gaming world for 23 years and then stepped back in to a PS5, game changer. Now let's get back to the jams with this little thing right here. This is the Sony XB100. And I've recently been enjoying the Soundcore Motion 300. I love these little speakers, man. They both have their purposes and in like places that they live in my lifestyle. I love the little Sony XB100 because of this handle and of course the sound quality and speakerphone. The speakerphone really shines, so does the audio quality. I don't know what they did in here with the driver and all the stuff that they do in the guts, but this thing well outperforms its predecessor, which is the XB13. But the thing that got me was this handle. I really didn't understand how useful this thing was. I mean, I thought it was just a little strap, but you can strap this thing onto anything. This is literally the most underrated and underutilized strap in the mobile tiny little speaker world. Like you can do almost everything with this. Lots of things that you cannot do with any other speaker. Now, while the Motion 300 tries to keep up with its little strap right here, it's useful, but nowhere near as useful as the one that's on the XB100. Where this speaker shines is 30 watts of high res audio quality, and you can get it in three different forms. You can lay the speaker down just like this, and it'll fire up, and the EQ will change accordingly. And then if you want to face it up firing forward, the EQ is going to change for that too to maintain that great audio quality. And in the instance you do want to hang it from something, the EQ is going to change for that too to maintain premium audio quality while you're listening to it. Now to bring the Mars 3 back, you really don't need speakers to go with it because it sounds really good. But if you're far away from it, which sometimes I am, I really like to pair it up with this Motion 300 and we'll just have this kind of sitting between us. And it's almost like being at the drive-in, man. I love this little speaker right here from Soundcore, but I also love this little XB100 and they both have a purpose in my lifestyle. So that's why I'm sharing them with you to put on your Black Friday watch list. This right here surprised me this year as well. It's the Galaxy Tab S9. Yes, the S9 regular version. They make a Tab S9 and a Tab S9 Plus and a Tab S9 Ultra. I went ahead and opted for the smallest tablet, the S9, because it has a lot, almost all of the same features as its bigger brothers, which would be the Plus and the Ultra. It's just that it's an easier form factor to hold and maneuver. Got the S Pen, got the same screen, uh, in-screen fingerprint scanner. It's got a great camera. Almost everything you get with those more expensive Galaxy tablets, except you're getting it in a more manageable form factor. I recently released a video on how this tablet is a little bit better than the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. So I don't wanna spend too much time on this cause I want you to go watch that video. So why don't we just cut to my backyard so you can see the next item on my list. All right, so for everybody who knows me personally, you know I am a pit boss. I, matter of fact, I'm a purist. I love charcoal and wood smoke, the real stuff. That's my pit right there. I use it all the time. That is my baby. But this year, I ended up getting a new product from Ninja. It's called the Ninja Wood Fire Grill. I didn't. I just wanted to try it, man. I'm, I'm not into the whole, you know, pellet grill kind of stuff. But this thing seems so convenient. And you know, it's just me and the wife here, right? So a lot of times I do want to smoke a rack of ribs, but I don't want it to take a long time or I want to do like a brisket point or a flat or something like that. Or maybe just grill up some chicken with smoke. That's what this thing is for. I really do think this is a great device for people who live maybe in apartments with like patios and you can't have like real smoke barbecue pits or grills. This is actually electric. So look at that. You got your typical ninja style like griddle right there, but it's got all these different functions, man. We got 
grill, we got smoker, we got air fryer, we got bake, roast, broil, and dehydrate in there. And any one of these functions, if you want to, you can add smoke flavor to it. And the way it works is you turn it on, right? And I put it on smoker, let's put it on air fry. Oh, bruh, let me tell you, bruh, you gotta air fry some wings in this thing. <laughs> Come on, Wilson, you know about my wings, right? I air fried Wilson some wings in this thing, and then you press that little smoke button right there, and it'll give you smoke in your wings. Now, the way it gets smoke is, you just put some little pellets in the side here, man. You just put them in there, and it starts smoking them up, and it's not actually fire. So yeah, you, you could have this in an apartment patio. It has to be used outside, though. But I've made some really great ribs that were tender, juicy. They had a good smoke flavor, because you can get different flavor wood pellets, like mesquite, hickory and pecan and stuff. And you can just do whatever wood you want. Of course, like I said, air fryer. If you want an air fryer, it's here. If you want to bake some stuff, it's here. I freaking love the Ninja Wood Fire. So that's definitely one of my top picks for you to look out for on Black Friday. Now this one right here is for my EDC peeps out there. This is the Claris G15. It's packing 4,200 lumens and it's ultra bright, man. The reason why I wanted it was because it had a USB recharging method. It does have a battery in here that you can take out and swap out, but it actually charges via USB-C. And that was important to me because everything should be USB-C these days. And I just needed to upgrade my flashlight. And I'm always walking my dog at night, especially now because it's getting dark a little bit sooner. So I need a quick flashlight to just whip out. That's not gonna be too big and heavy to just, you know, whip out just in case, you know, there's a skunk or something around, something I don't want my dog getting into because nobody wants to get sprayed by a skunk. And you don't want your animals getting sprayed by skunks either. So get a flashlight so you keep a lookout for them things. But I love this little flashlight because it is so compact. I'm not a big handed guy. Look at it in my hands. Like it's just a nice pocket size flashlight. It's pretty lightweight. It's got a few functions, man. You got strobe, you got SOS. And then I think you got three levels of brightness by pressing and holding the button and you cycle through them. And of course it has that super, super bright, right or bright white 4,200 lumens beaming at you. Now with all these portable devices that you need to keep charged up, it's important to have a battery bank. I've been traveling quite a bit this year and I've been really fortunate to have this thing in my bag as well. This is a 20,000 milliamp power bank from Anchor. It's also 200 watts. Look right there, man. You got two USB ports right there and a USB-A with that charge IQ that they have. At 200 watts, this thing charges up things fast. How fast? So fast. Just get one, man. At some point, you're gonna wish you had one and you should have got it on Black Friday while it was on sale. I'm just saying. Now this might be a niche device, but it's been really useful to me this year. And this is the Samsung T7 one terabyte portable hard drive. I'm actually gonna upgrade this to the T9 this year. I'm waiting for Black Friday too, man. That thing's kind of expensive, so I'm waiting on it to go on sale so I can get the T9. All the files I move around are pretty big because they're 4K, so it takes a long time to transfer those from place to place. This thing is pretty fast. The T9 is actually gonna be a little bit faster, actually quite a bit faster, and that's why I wanna upgrade. But this is something that you can just throw in your pocket, man. Make sure you use the cables that it comes with because those are rated for the speed that this thing promises. Uh, so yeah, just get you a, a portable hard drive, man. You could find a use for this thing, and I just think it's something that's been useful to me, so I just wanted to share it with you. Now, I'm not sure if you're a heavy reader or not, but let me tell you something about me. I think this day and age, there's three ways to really read. You can do audio books, which a lot of people do, and then you can do real paper books, which a lot of people still do. But then there's guys like me who need something digital because I don't wanna carry around a book all the time. And tablets and phones, they don't make the best e-readers. So this year, I finally decided to just go ahead and invest into an actual e-reader. So I ended up getting the Kindle Paperwhite 2023, man. I did not know how much I was gonna enjoy this thing. I actually got this denim cover to go on it. I love it because it's lightweight and it's like one handable it's it's like the size of a folding phone like the galaxy fold 5 or maybe the um the one plus open you just hold it in one hand and you can read and it's super lightweight and it has all your books in it now i know some people do like to do audiobooks. Now, I used to be an audiobook person, and I still am in a lot of ways, but I found that as I've been actually reading, it really makes my brain work, and that's what I want. I want brain exercise. I've read a lot of books on this thing, man. I'm gonna recommend them one or two from you. One of my favorite authors now is Joshua Metcalf. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you to start with Chop Wood, Carry Water, and I'm currently reading When in the Dark, and another favorite is Pound the Stone by Joshua Metcalf. You gotta get yourself, well, fine. If you wanna do Audible and do an Audible book, that's fine. But man, get yourself a paper white, man, and just, just read. Have your books with you. 
And this is another thing I didn't see coming this year. I walk around with a tote bag. Yes, it's, this is the most manly tote bag I could find, man. It's the Yeti Camino 35. This thing has been way more useful than I thought it was gonna be. I recently got into the Yeti stuff, man. You know, I've got all their cups, you know, I got a couple of coolers, but then I saw this Camino 35 and I think they have a 50 or 55 and then they have a 20. This one is the middle. This is like the Goldilocks one. It's the one in the middle and I think it's the most useful for everyday life. And I thought I was just gonna use it to, you know, go to the beach and stuff with my wife, go on a couple of picnics, cause that's what we actually used it for. But I find myself carrying this thing like almost every day. I be putting all kinds of stuff in here, like a projector. Like when I'm coming to work and I'm coming to, you know, shoot videos on stuff, I'll throw some speakers in there and I'll throw, you know, this battery bank in there, my Kindle, my tablet, like all my headphones. Like I'm throwing everything in here, man. I have so much room. Let me put all these earbuds in here, man. My flashlight, let me put all of this stuff my hard drive in the Camino 35. Oh, by the way, they just launched it. Well, they didn't just launch it. This right here is the Sidekick Drive. This is like a drop pouch that you can hook on uh, to some Yeti, so the Yeti soft gear. It's a modular system that they actually call Hitch Point Grid. Let me get this off of here because it's attached via Velcro loop. So you just stick that in there and boom. And then you got yourself an extra pocket for your Camino 35. Man, I'm loving this thing, man. It's, it's just, I, I, I really have fallen in love with Yeti. And I really like this Camino 35, man. This thing has been become so useful. I had no idea I was gonna be walking around with a tote. This is so much better than a backpack in a lot of ways. Now I get it, a backpack you just strap on your back or on your, on your shoulders or whatever, like a duffel, you just strap it on your shoulders. But this thing, I just like the openness of it. You just dump stuff in there and it holds literally everything. You put pets, babies, food, all kinds of stuff in this bag. It's my favorite bag of the year. Okay, maybe one of my favorite bags of the year. But you see, I got everything in here, man. <laughs> Look, man. I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is I like this stuff. This is all stuff that I use in my personal life from day to day or week to week. And some of it's not cheap at all. So if I was getting it for the first time, I didn't wait till Black Friday. I just spent the money. But I'm telling you, you should have this on your list to look at for Black Friday to see if it goes on sale and tell them your boy sent you. Now y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you.